High Plains Technology Center, turning education and training into workplace success. Oh, back to school, back to school, to prove to dad that I'm not a fool. High Plains Technology Center, education at the speed of business. School is now in session. Good morning and welcome to the HPTC Talk Show. I am Katie Shirley, the Marketing Coordinator at High Plains, filling in for your new wonderful host, Taylor Burnett, as he heads to Dallas this week for a big Global Wind Organization um, event. So I'm filling in and brought a guest with me. I'll introduce her in a little bit, but I wanted to take just a few minutes and give a couple updates of just what's happening at High Plains. The first of the year has flown by and we're getting ready to go into the Thanksgiving break next week. So um, we've got our CDL class got going and we also have um, two more of those already scheduled um, one is January 5th, I believe, and April 8th. So if you are interested in um, enrolling in that, go ahead and contact Tammy Kelm. Um, you can go to our website and find out her contact info. And then um, a couple other things. We've got a blood drive for health careers happening um, this Thursday. So tomorrow from 830 to 330. Um, something new we are doing um, with our CNA classes is we have a new HR um, generalist is her title, Melva Little, and she's meeting with the CNA students at the end of their class and going over some tips on um, just great employee skills to have, interview tips, resume. So that's been pretty neat to implement with that class. And kind of just freshen freshen up those skills before they go into the workforce if they haven't been there for a while. And I think we we also have the um, OARC um, Christmas dinner that marketing puts on. It's business and marketing. I think that is December 2nd on a Saturday. So that's always a blast. If anybody wanted to volunteer, um, I think they would love help. Or if you had any items you want to donate, we give them all a goodie bag. So just reach out to someone at High Plains and we'll get it to the right place. Um, And also, I don't know if um, Taylor has shared that we have a podcast now. So um, after they record this morning show, we put it on Apple's um, podcast and then also on Spotify and then our YouTube channel. So Um, You'll have to follow us and subscribe to those to keep up if you miss one of the live recordings. And then also, if you're not following us on social media, you're definitely missing out. Um, Very active on there. And there's always something very interesting happening at school. And that kind of segues perfectly into our guest. And this is our new multimedia instructor, Mrs. Leanne Meyer. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to be here. Thanks I'm for having me. Glad to have you. So, Leanne, let's start with, um, this is your first year at High Plains. Tell us a little bit about your previous experience that led up to where you are now. Okay, I've been teaching for 23 years. I've been at Leedy for most of those, and I've uh, taught math. I taught junior high and high school math for quite some time, but I've also been teaching multimedia there at Leedy for the past 13 years. Wow. It's pretty good. So um, in education, which part has been your favorite to teach, would you say? Do you? I really love, my degree was in ag communications. Uh-huh. So I really absolutely love um, the graphic design, yes. video production. So whenever I went back and taught math, um, I, I had that opportunity to go back and teach graphic design, mm-hmm. which is really my first love. Right. And uh, then allowed me to teach that for about 13 years. And then this year, this opportunity arose and really allowed me to really delve into that a little bit deeper. Yeah. And I, I hear you were maybe um, wore multiple hats at Leedy. So just a very well-rounded employee, helpful in all areas. So we that fits right into our team. Um, so now I'm sure you're kind of enjoying just having your your classroom, your, two, your morning and your afternoon, and just really focusing and honing in on what you love and to teach to the next generation. So that's awesome. It's really been great. I think the hardest thing for me to get used to is having no bells here at High Plains. At um, high school, you have a bell for everything. Yes. And at High Plains, I really had to get used to no bells and knowing what time all of my students were going to leave. Right. But 
the kids here are just so talented, and it's really been a joy to be able to teach them. Um, it's been fun to work with you so far, especially as the marketing person for the school and getting to collaborate with you all and the students. And um, I've enjoyed visiting with them and um, just watching what they're doing. They're definitely around the halls and around all over the school all the time, which is so wonderful. We have a lot of exciting things we'll share eventually. So why don't you just tell us a little bit about some of your goals for um, the class and um what what those are for the students that you're hoping to develop in them? Really, I think uh, my number one goal is just to uh, give these students really uh, skills that they're going to be able to take out into the workforce. Not all of these students that are coming in, they're probably not all going to go into uh, multimedia whenever they leave here. However, all of them are going to be able to take away something, right. whether it's interview skills or just being able to know how to present themselves, yes. how to uh, those soft skills, how to yes. look someone the in eye the eye, uh -huh. shake hands. Just um, communicate. Even absolutely. I know a lot of youth these days, um, you know, they don't like to answer their phones, which I'm becoming more. I'd rather, you know, a quick text is nice sometimes, but we do, we just have to speak to one another and there's, you know, every area you're moving on to with your career, that's going to be there. So you can tell a lot of them are, aren't, aren't comfortable. So I think we at High Plains are, um, I think we're kind enough and gentle enough that we're good practice for them for sure in what they're doing. They're going around. Um, I'll let you share a bit more about that, but interviewing staff. So it's been fun to just, you know, keep talking to them and they get a little more comfortable. And so that's neat to see, especially by the end of their, their time at High Plains, to see them evolve. Absolutely. I tell the kids all the time, I said, I'm going to push you outside of your, of yes, your comfort zone. We do that a lot. And they're probably not going to like me for right? a little bit. But yeah. in the end, they're really going to appreciate, I think, what they get yes. out of that. So we started out with some photography and mm -hmm. we've been sending out press releases to the area papers. I hope that everyone's been yes, I love uh, that. catching all of those in some of the newspapers. So that means that they're having to go into all of those program areas mm -hmm. and having to More talk interaction to the with students. Absolutely. Too. And yeah. have to talk to the instructors and have to talk to the, the, the students, get their information. Yes. Then they come back and have to write something that's pretty concise, mm -hmm. send it to the newspapers. And then from that, we are building um, on that as far as we're putting together a news show. So we're incorporating now video. And now then it becomes that they're having to do some live um, segments where yes. they are now interviewing and that's going to go live on air so yes that has really really been outside of some of their comfort right zones. i can tell they're a little nervous at first but um each time i've met with them you know down the road they're a little more comfortable and um I, they did really really good you know i was a little nervous as they're interviewing me i'm like what are you gonna ask and she was like she was not giving me any clue she's like i just you got to just get it whenever you get it. I was like, okay. So I was so proud of her for just sticking to it. Like, no, this is the best way for us to do this is just me to throw the question out there and see your response. So. And, you know, so many of them, they, they will say, I am not going to go into television. I'm not going to do anything with video. And I um, throw it back to them. I say, you know, if you only get out of this, that this is going to develop your confidence. Right. Because that yes. in itself is just Huge. so important mm -hmm. whenever they get out into the workforce. For sure. One of those things that um, I know LinkedIn and so many of those um, people that are hiring and looking for employees – they are looking for soft skills. Yes, soft and, skills. I think I think we're starting to see how important that is in society as our um, our workforce is changing. That you know we've lost some of that, but how crucial that is. And I mean, just right from the beginning, before you're even skill set is is the person you are and the way you can communicate and just you know confidence in yourself is huge. Exactly. And whenever we're doing our our news show, um, it's a team. And so each week it rotates who's the editor, who has different segments. And so they're nice. having to really work together and figure out what's a deadline. Yeah. And if they are not at school or if they don't meet their deadline, then that affects everyone on the team. Right. And they have to learn that because that's that's a reality whenever yeah. they get out yes. in the workforce. And that's really, again, what we're training them for is to how to be a, how to be a good employee. Right. 
So what other um, hopes do you have for your program as you get further into, I guess, next semester? I think one of the most exciting things is we are adding drone technology into the program. Oh, so cool. that just gives um, an added dimension because, again, that, that really fits in perfectly with photography. Yes. And that is that goes across so many different um, different things. You know, it's going to agriculture mm-hmm. they they need drone technology wind energy real estate oil and gas of course photography marketing right. all of those but it can be so marketable and if yes. they um, have that skill when they leave here yep. that's really going to help so in the end they're going to be able to take the part 107 test which means that um, if they pass that they'll be able to be licensed and they can fly a drone commercially wow that's pretty awesome um, in addition, we are really excited. We've been doing some VR and some three hundred, some three hundred and sixty videography, where we hope to incorporate that into um, some marketing to help with the high planes. Oh, where, yeah, I will. I'm so, so now. You guys can tell why I'm so excited about this program, and um, I know I've had. Um, People, companies reach out before trying to sell me, you know, 360 videos for the school and I, you know, hadn't done it yet. And so I'm like, how perfect. Now our own students be trained and I can put those on each program's website and people that, you know, especially wind. We have a lot of people come um, to be in the wind tech program and they've never been in Oklahoma. You know, they may be from Michigan or wherever. So that'd be just another touch of them being able to get a good idea of what the facility is like in the facility we do have and all of the props and equipment um, and the classrooms and the, the shops are very phenomenal you know top notch and they look really good so I think it's wonderful to share that yeah and you know we have some great instructors also and so I just want um, I want to focus on that too and I want people to be able to see that and see those programs and really be able to walk through those virtually yeah. to see what's going on and see what we really offer because not very many people have the chance to physically be here and tour those yeah so we want to offer that too yeah that's awesome um, so anything else you would like to share um, as we kind of get close to wrapping up well, we're also doing uh, some augmented reality. Okay. We just started that this week, and as well as some 2D and 3D animation. Uh, we just have lots of things that, that we have going on. And one of the things that I really like to do is I like to see what types of students that I have each semester or each uh-huh. year. And then we can really target um, the instruction to those specific students. Yeah, And, you know, of course, it also depends on what kind of industry do we have right now around us? We're getting ready, hopefully, to um, have some aeronautical things happening here in yes, Woodward, which is so. part of the reason that we added that drone technology part into our program. Right, and that's what really um, helps helps us decide what we're going to be teaching. Yeah, and that and that's just that's overall the mission of High Plains is to you know we pivot. We pivot as quick as we can, that customized training to what does the industry actually need right now, and then we do what we can to meet it pretty quick. And the looking ahead, seeing what's coming, being continually ready, because um, there's always something new down the pipeline, and so that's wonderful. Absolutely. And it, again, it's just, this has been such a great experience. The students, like I said, are wonderful Everybody has been so welcoming to me, which has been, I was a little nervous because oh, I, I haven't had a, the, I haven't yeah, had a, a new, new job, job for yes. quite some time. So it was a little bit, um, it, I was a little nervous yeah. that first week, but everyone was really, has really been welcoming and everyone here at Woodward. So I appreciate that. Well, that's awesome. You definitely are a great fit and we are glad to have you. Um, and so like Leanne mentioned, um, if you don't read the newspaper, if you see one, um, you know, at the quick stop, take a look at it and see if you see a picture of High Plains, which I would say we've got something in the paper. I do run an ad, but we've got pictures in there. I mean, more than half the time that the paper's out. So take a look at it and read the caption and then see if you recognize the name of the student that took the picture. And they're just doing a great job. And we also send those to the students and those to our area papers for the whole district of those communities that have papers. So I know those small town papers are also loving that, too, because what better um, 
content than, you know, live and youth. And so it's just been great. All right. Well, thank you, Leanne, for being my guest. Thank you. And um, you can we'll take a break next week for Thanksgiving and then Taylor will be back after that. Thank you. Thanks.